Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to thank you for coming and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. Today I am taking beef ribs and I'm going to make them fall off the bone for you in the oven. Alright, if you're ready for this, let's get going. Alright, so I'm going to go over everything we're going to need to make our ribs today. I have almost four pounds of ribs sitting here, beef ribs. Now, this is a double pack, so it looks like there's about four bones on each rack here. Got some minced garlic, salt, Dijon mustard, minced onion, Worcestershire, chili powder, paprika, brown sugar, and then I have some tin foil. You're going to need some tin foil to wrap all these ribs up. Okay, so to get started, now I've got my oven preheating at 275 degrees. We are cooking these low and slow today in the oven, y'all, because we want these tender, fall off the bone, delicious, right? Okay, so to get started, now I pulled my two racks of ribs out of the package, just kind of rinsed them just a little bit dry them off really well so that the mixture that we're going to put on here will stick to it. What you're going to need then is a nice deep pan. I just lined it with some tin foil, okay? That's going to be separate because we're going to make two individual packets of these. So each one of our racks right here will be in their own little tin foil packet and then they'll be placed on here because we're going to be using this later and we're going to go over that. All right, y'all, let's get started building our sauce that will stick onto our ribs and give it that delicious flavor. All right, to start with our sauce, I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of Dijon mustard to my bowl here. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Got two tablespoons of paprika. Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of minced onion, or you can use powdered onion. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. All right, got some brown sugar here. I'm gonna put a quarter cup in. And then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of Worcestershire. All right, I'm gonna whisk that all together. So I'll just switch to a spoon really quick. Get everything off the sides. This is going to be our mixture for our ribs, so it sticks on there really good. Oh, look at that. That's it. Let's get our ribs going and put this on there. All right, so I brought my ribs back over here. I've got my tin foil. Now I'm going to start making my packets for each one of these. So I'm using some heavy duty tin foil here. So I'm just going to pull out a sheet that is twice the size of one of these. So, all right. Like that. All right, so I'm going to be using my brush here to get into the smear. Smear? <laughs> and I'm going to be using that to coat my ribs on both sides. So I'm going to do one here so you can see what I'm doing. And just... Brush it on good. Make sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies. I guarantee y'all, y'all, this is going to be good. We got this side great. We're going to flip these over. And flip it over here and smear the back side of this. Okay, so the silver lining that was on the back of the ribs have already been pulled off and this was done at the store. If you have lining on the back of your ribs, you'll need to pull that off. I do show how to do that on my Instant Pot ribs that I did. I actually pulled the lining off the back of those. So if you wanted to check that out, you can. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring it over here, put it on the long side here. I'm gonna bring this edge up this edge up. Then I'm just going to pull the two sides together and then just pull it in on itself just like that. And turn it. Now on your sides I'm just going to wrap it twice. 
kind of do like a roll. Roll it once, roll it twice, and then we're going to do it on this side here. One, two, just like that. And then I'm going to put it on my baking sheet that I have right here. Here's my second packet right here. All right, y'all, so I have my packets ready to go into my preheated oven at 275 degrees. They're gonna go in there for about three hours. Then I'm gonna pull them out and I'm gonna do something else to them. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I just pulled my ribs out of the oven at the three hour mark. Remember, they were cooking at 275 degrees, low and slow. But what I'm gonna do is take them out of their tinfoil package here. Look at that. I think my husband might be crying right now. Okay, we're gonna do a close-up on this. All right, y'all, do those look like falling off the bone? I think they cooked off the bone. <laughs> and they are so tender, y'all. Look at that. Now, you might not want to put barbecue sauce and put it back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes because we were looking for a sticky on them. So, but I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go through the whole process or you can stop here, which my husband would do right now. So I'm going to take some of our favorite barbecue sauce, which is Sweet Baby Ray's. This is a sweet and spicy. I'm just going to do like one rack of ribs here with this sauce on it. And it's going to go back in the oven. So what I'm going to do is just kind of make that a little bowl right there. Okay, so it's going to go back in the oven for about 15 minutes. I'm going to put it on broil. That way it'll cook from above to the meat here. And we're going to get it nice and sticky. All right, y'all, I had pulled these out of my oven and they were broiling for about 10 minutes just to kind of get that sticky, wonderful, delicious sauce on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just cutting these between the meat using a very sharp knife, just like that. Just show you this. There we go. Whoa, who wants one? All right, y'all, here are my oven-baked beef ribs. Three hours and another 15 minutes under the broiler. Look at that, low and slow. You know I'm going in, all right? I gotta get a bite before my husband runs in here and gets a bite. <laughs> we'll probably be fighting over one. All right, let's go. There we go. Whoop, my parsley fell off. <laughs> I did garnish it with some parsley, y'all. All right. Mm. Did y'all see how tender that was? I'm not kidding. Mm. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you comment down below. And give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification, and you'll always know when I do shows like this. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode.